from East Coast Oak Views. Today, we're reviewing Green River Kentucky Straight Weeded Bourbon Whiskey. So this is 45% alcohol by volume, or 90 proof. So online, it tells us it's aged between four and six years. And then on the actual Green River website, it does give us the mash bill. It's 70% uh, corn, 21% wheat, and 9% malted barley. Uh, yeah, I grabbed this during my Bourbon Hunter video for 30 bucks. Pretty good price. Let's uh, pop it open, pour it up, check it out. Want to give this time to uh, aerate a little bit before I give it a proper review. Let's pour it in the glass here. And yeah, so this is uh, distilled and bottled by Green River. They actually make this themselves. Uh, yeah, they have a bourbon and a barrel proof as well. Um, I like to give those a shot. Color. It is a caramel color. Some nice alcohol eggs. Looks pretty good. Nose. Okay, I get a little bit of a nuttiness. But then I get caramel. A little bit of ethanol, cherry, definitely some dried fruits in there, vanilla, oak, spice. It's actually got a little bit of um, some orange, like some citrus. It smells really nice. Uh, like I said, there is a little bit of nuttiness on the nose which is a nice touch as well. Overall, it smells pretty sweet, subtle. It smells like it's going to be soft on the palate. We have had this before, uh, of course, full disclosure. But uh, yeah, it's got a very um, inviting, approachable aroma, I guess you could say. Um, definitely not too burny, but nice and sweet. And then you get those nice uh, spices, a little bit of kind of like a bakery spice. Let's try it out, cheers. Now, I remember when I first had this, I was talking about how drinkable it is. Still very easy sipping. 90 proof. Um, mouthfeel's a little bit on the lighter side for 90 proof. I would like a little bit of more of a mouthfeel out of it, but the sweetness is really nice. I get a really big um, caramel, caramel, citrus, and like vanilla. Those are probably like the most prominent flavor notes up front and then on the finish you get more of like the dried fruit you get that like cherry spice um, a little bit of char and oak you get a little bit of um, like that uh, stringency from the oak just super crushable there's that nuttiness again it's kind of like um maybe like an almond Yeah, this is pretty good. Got some water on the side here. I enjoy this. Uh, 30 bucks. This is a really solid bottle. You definitely get a good amount of sweetness from uh, the 21% wheat in this smash bill. Uh, yeah, I think they did a really good job with this product. It doesn't taste like grainy or anything like that. Um, yeah, I think for the most part, all I really can say about it uh, negatively is that the mouth feels a little light. Um, I kind of wish it had just a little bit more of a fuller flavor for 90 proof. And then the finish is almost um, non-existent. The finish dies off really quick. Um, I kind of wish the finish just stuck around a lot longer. For a $30 bottle. Um, it has a really nice balance to the whiskey. Nothing's really overpowering each other. And uh, with that being said, you get the complexity of all the different flavors of all. They're kind of more like subtle flavors. I would say I like the dried fruits, of course, and the spice, and um, uh, like that caramel note are probably the most prominent. But for the most part, yeah, everything's very well balanced. Um, 
I enjoy it. I think it's very good for $30 for sure. And even like comparing to like, um, maybe I'll have to do a uh, comparison of this to uh, maybe like Maker's Mark. And um, I have some, some Weller Special Reserve. That would be really cool to do uh, a weeded head to head. Or maybe even just do this in Maker's Mark. Or uh, yeah, some other head to head uh, reviews with this weeded bourbon. For a number for now, I think I'm gonna land this one right in the 87 out of 100. Uh, like I said, I just kinda want a little bit more of a, a mouthfeel out of it for 90 proof. But overall, this is a really easy drinking, um, great whiskey for somebody who's just getting into bourbon. Uh, it's not too, it doesn't give you that giant Kentucky hug that a lot of the whiskeys um, in the $30 price range will give you, that big Kentucky warm and hug. Um, so there is that too, so that might be a little bit more um, approachable for uh, like the novice whiskey drinker. And uh, yeah, I recommend it. Um, and uh, yeah, there you have it. If anything else you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.